363 Dune Road, Hampton Bays. Hampton Lady Fishing at its very best. I'm here with? Uh, this is Marcin. Marcin? Uh, I'm out here on the Hampton Lady um, today. Uh, I usually fish out with Jimmy all the time. Uh, he's one of the best captains out here. Um, I'm out here, um, actually took a sick day today from work. <laughs> Good for you. It, it beats any day sitting out in the office. And um, I love sea bass. Uh, this is my very time of the year to come out and fish. That's awesome. Now, do you have do you have a special sea bass system? Do you have a rod, a rig, something you like to use, a preferred no, bait? High and low. High and low? Yeah. Do you ever Standard. do any jigging? Sometimes. Sometimes? sometimes. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you very much for right. uh, participating sure. in this <laughs> fishing fundamental documentary. Oh, God, here we go. So it was quiet on the side of the boat. We'll go back to sleep. Okay, the baits are hard at work. Captain Jimmy doing his thing. Did you did you see tuna porpoising up? Was it a school of tuna? No, it was dolphin. Oh. I got everything. Really? Yes, it's a big boat. It's 
Is that that guy from Freeport again? Probably. The guy doing circles? <laughs> Go back to Jersey, you lousy bum. Guy goes back to get big. And we'll pop the bladder and back he goes. That's what we do. How you doing, bud? What? I'm waiting to go to the bathroom. You're in a real sparky mood today. Yeah. You're tying your rig up here. You'll we'll see you later. I wish I had got that dolphin, man. Freaking just ripped right by. Oh, what? The dolphin? Oh, there was a dolphin? It was a porpoise. It came by and it's like. Gene? Hello, hey. Captain James. How you doing, sir? I'm fantastic. I'm doing a little <laughs> mini documentary. Okay, great. On, uh, on winter wreck fishing. Do I you, love do, it. Do you have any uh, insights for those people who may want to come out on the Hampton Lady? Sure. I recommend you dress warm, a nice pair of warm socks, some uh, some thermals, and, uh, and a nice 
thermos maybe with some hot chocolate or something warm. Hot chocolate. Yep. Now, Mike, to that? Mike sure. please don't. If you don't. share with anyone else, shame on you. You're wasting your time. He's the man. He, he is the I'm man. I've been doing this 70 years, pal. I've been on a few boats. He's the man. <laughs> All right. Now, this is, this is Mike. And I, I call him critical, Mike, because I've watched him fluke fish. Yeah. And, and, and he, is, he is critical. And, uh... invited to a, a shower or a, a wedding for the fetch. Now what would you like, a sartreuse? Because that would set off your eyes. <laughs> and you continued success, Gene. Well, I'm still waiting for my I'm waiting for my big one. I think I had him and he wrecked me. Oh, he did. He huh? stuck me up, but he was like a little freight train down there. So I'm gonna keep working it. You uh, got it. This is Captain James and Contingency. I'm back to fishing. God bless everybody. <laughs> Oh. Oh, on a net. Well, it felt like it because I was jigging. I didn't think these guys were going to fuck with me. Because he jigged a fish in the belly. 10 minute documentaries, baby. All right. Well, I thought I had the card, father. But if you lose one, you rig one. And if you rig one, you take another shot. close but yet so far looking for the one now limiting out sea bass i'm resorting to the jig uh oh running up all right and your name is my name is bill casella bill casella and and bill bill brings sandwiches to the boys <laughs> to keep them in good stead exactly exactly you gotta tip the help Got tip the help. Absolutely. So this is a black sea bass and it is going back and it's too short. Sure. Say goodbye. Goodbye, black sea bass. Hey yeah, Bill, you, you, how many years have you been fishing on this boat? Since he opened. Since he opened? Yeah. So 2010. 2010. Yeah. Okay, I'm trying to think when I went I got on the boat yeah. with Paul. Uh but maybe it was maybe it was that far back. Yeah. yeah. Very cool. This is an amazing boat. It really is. Absolutely amazing. Hey, what do you do, Bill? Uh, I work for uh, Suffolk County Sheriff's Department. I'm in law enforcement. Okay, so what's the difference between what's the difference between sheriffs and um... sheriffs has jurisdiction from the county line, Nassau Suffolk County line. Wait, so when somebody's like doing an eviction, it's the sheriffs that do it. Yeah. And but sheriffs, I see people go bombing down the expressway, and they pass by sheriffs, and most of the time, nothing happens. Yeah. I got no, I got no comment. Well, no, I was just, I'm no, not. They I'm have just, the it, same legal, the same legal authority as a cop. So, so, yep. so they could, so they could if they, they chose to. They want to. But I think sometimes they're transporting, Most and they the won't time, pull somebody. We do, we do a lot of transports through the jail. We transport the prisoners if they have to go uh, to the hospital to an outside doctor or anything like that. Right. So they so, wouldn't, they wouldn't intervene. They were, they were on the, they were on the JLB. So that, that makes sense. So, would you rather be enforcing the law or catching black sea bass? Catching black sea bass. Thank you, Bill. Thanks. Tight lines, keep it going. Good. So, how was your day out here on the Hampton Lady? The Hampton Lady Captain James always finds us fish. Derek and Billy were excellent. We maxed out. We're heading back. It's a beautiful day. Good people, great fish, and good eats tonight. I'm a happy customer. And what's your name? Patrick Connor. Patrick Connor. 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 Can you say Connor? Connor. Like Daryl O'Connor? Patrick Joseph Connor. Like Carol O'Connor. Another Irishman right here. Oh, is that? Oh, is that? Oh, that's. Oh, I thought that was Critical Mike, but no, it's it's not. It's the king of it's the king of textiles. This is my kid brother. Can I introduce? Do you want to say hello? On the we already we did we did a thing, but let's did, do it again. This. He knows that you know we're in textile business. We travel all over the world, and we do Irish wedding. You do Irish weddings? Irish women. Love as, it. As a matter of fact, I had the license for the uh, British book. Nice. Made a lot of money on that shit. That's what about Gabardine? Give me Gabardine. Make whatever you want. Well, make me some Gabardine. I want a Gabardine suit. And I'm a, I'm a gardener, you want to go to and Le ornologist, Celtic landscaping. Celtic landscaping. All right, you heard it here.
Thank you. Thank you, Eugene. Patrick, always a pleasure. Keep the faith. What is your name? Robert. Robert, how'd you make out today? Pretty good. Limited out, bunch of knuckleheads. A little, little porgy here and there, but I did real good from the first drop. All right, so were you were you mainly jigging or just dropping bait? What were you up to? Oh, I was jigging. You were jigging all day? For the most part. I, at the end of the day, I, I dropped some bait because I was trying to get porgies. But uh, for the most of the day, I was just jigging. Now I saw you got a couple of nice little begalls there too. There's nothing, there's nothing, there's no, there's no, edit, edit, there's nothing to see edit, here. Man. As a matter of fact, he's fishing with his cousin today. Yeah. And uh, so your cousin did pretty well, huh? Yeah. Where did you guys come out from? Uh, I'm from Brooklyn. Came out from, uh, what part of Brooklyn? Uh, I'm in East New York now. All right. I used to live on Montague Street back in the day. Uh, downtown Brooklyn. Downtown. <laughs> All right, man. Well, tight line. Uh, would you like to tell us your name? My name's Kirk. Kirk Carbo. Conversation because your family. Oh yeah, we're both from Quag, so we're both local. Um, very few of the uh, the local people that come out on the boat, mostly from up the island, from all over the country. Absolutely. And you, sir? All right, Tom Otis. I'm a local too. As in Otis Ford? Ford? That's Get me. the wee wee out of here. <laughs> That's us. Yeah. I, th I think uh, I think that I think that I put you through college. Because I'm four Fords in. There we go. Well, happy to take care of you, man. Happy to take care of you. It's great to be out here. Um, not as cold as I thought it would be. And it was uh, a lot of fish, man. Great day. So how'd you do? What was what was your uh, what was your biggest just guesstimate? Oh, I don't know. That, that, that second one that I got, like early? Yeah, big probably four or five pound sea bass up yeah. there. Yeah. Nice. And do you get do you get out often? Yeah. Uh, not too much. Not as much as I'd like. You know, too busy working down the uh, down the road like I was telling you. Oh, that's right, with, uh, with, with uh, what's his name, Mark, uh, Mark, Mark Laybird. Mark David. Laybird, my man. Oh, my man, too, I love him, he's the best. Yes. All righty, well, it looks like it's, uh, it looks like it's pool time. Is that it, Derek? Is that the pool? So far, yeah. Oh, somebody got a little guy. Oh, that's a nice sea bass. Yeah, I, I, I think I think the sea bass spanks the cod. Yeah, I have him dead. Oh, that is nice. Nice bump. Oh, we've been waiting for this. This is the time. Okay, come out, Hampton tell, tell Lady the Man. This is are. where we fish. My name's Justin. Hey, Justin, Fishing. how many pools did you win this year? Four pools this year on this boat. All high roller pools. Over a thousand bucks a pool. Five thousand dollars in winnings. This is the boat to come on. You guys want to catch, get serious and catch fish, Hampton Lady. This is where you come, Captain Jimmy. Mates, Derek and Billy, the best in the business. You know, I actually like Caroline better. <laughs> oh! <laughs> what about Jenna? <laughs> Mike, my man Mike. How'd you make out, Mike? Super. It's, it's always a good trip with the Captain James. Absolutely. And he's incredibly cautious. He left a little later this morning. Very comfortable. He takes a grandpa with five grandchildren safely out to sea and coming back. Everybody have a little brotherhood and some peace. Come in. <laughs> God bless you. God bless you too, Mike. Alrighty, we said it once before that Billy was the master filet He even hit you in the foot with a porgy. And that's how he rolls. Thank you, Billy. Is this annoying you? Of course not. Just concentrate. Spot on. That's a lot of fish. And there is my day's basket of hoodies. Here comes a uh, smiling Derek Donahue. Alrighty, we're here with uh, Captain James Foley. Yes. And uh, James, I'd like to just ask you a couple sure. quick questions to wrap this mini dock up. All right. When did you first get the boat? 2010, I purchased the boat um, from a gentleman named Walter Cheke. He had the boat over in Captree. It was called the Fish Finder, fishing out of Captree State Park. And um, 
Prior to that, it was called uh, Miss Cape May. It was a down. It was down Cape May, New Jersey. In New Jersey, yes. And it's got a long history, but I'm not going to bore you with it. But uh, prior to me calling it the Hampton Lady, um, it was the Fish Finder out of Captree, and then out of uh, Miss Cape May down in Jersey. And then we've been sailing out of Hampton Bays ever since 2010. So we're coming into our, uh, our 13th season now. That's fantastic. Yeah. And the boat was built down in uh, De De Delta Bill. Ca Captain Maverick is, uh, is, is interjecting. No yes, stupid. He is. Anyway, the boat was built down in Deltaville, uh, Virginia, out of longleaf yellow pine, which is uh, back in the day. It was very sought after wood that they used, and, and now the boat's fiberglass from the uh, waters line up to the top. And awesome. uh, we've been sailing every day since. Well, you you, you, you do a fantastic job. Right, every. Right? Everybody, everybody loves being on this boat. Well, thank you, Gene. It's I like you, it. it's like it's <laughs> like you you were the celebrity captain, and uh, let's see, do I have any more questions? Because uh, I know I'm sure. I'm ready that... to answer if you have any. And so is Billy. He's a great. Oh, oh, well, oh, no, Billy, Billy, Billy explained why you shouldn't bring bananas on a boat. Oh yeah. And that was that that was fantastic. Oh, yeah. um, let's see. Okay, well, you know, we we uh, we're hoping. To, uh, to get out a few more times Great. before... Yes, we finish up the end of the year, December 31st. You got it. And then uh, we start back up in the spring. Okay, so no January? Uh, if there's some fish around, you know, we'll, we'll target them. But the codfish has been kind of slow the last few years, so it's really not worth it to, to go after them. But, okay. Uh, if there are some fish around, we, we'll know where, to, where they are and how to catch them. Okay, and I'm not going to ask you any of your trade secrets because you got spots because you always put us on it. So I'm not going there. That's all right. Um, now here's this is this is a, just a very gene question. The yellowtail flounder. Yes, sir. Is there enough of a population of them to make it worth a quarter of a day pursuit of them? There isn't. They were commercially they're caught fairly consistently, but rod and reel is. It's really not worth it. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Yeah, they're more of a lucky catch type deal. A bycatch. A bycatch. You know, you, you know. I tried targeting them a few times, maybe uh, seven, eight years ago when there was more around, and we caught some. But I've been back a few times and to no avail. <laughs> oh well. All right. Well, thank you, uh, uh, Jimmy, um, Captain James Foley. You are a, a, a gentleman, a fisherman, a scholar, and you've turned us all into ladies' men! <laughs> <laughs> all right, Gene, good to see you, buddy. You too. Bye-bye. Thank you.